Il a dit, il a dit que l'argent là, il n'a pas de sens, c'est 500. Aïe. 1000. No, he told 500. I told okay. So he taken me, I've given him 500. So it's very difficult to communicate. I know English, you all people know French, and I am not able to talk. I am just sitting in the Okara, wherever he is taking me, I am going there. He is a very nice person. My friend is a very good person. Are, I am not able to understand. But he knows small English. Are, go, 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 take to me. Pay for India? Again. Eh? Take to me to India? As, yeah. a, as a whore. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, Sunday morning, uh, 10th July 2022, I have taken uh, uh, Okara from my uh, uh, hotel and it's now uh, 7.30 a.m. morning. Uh, so he, he will show me roads around the city. capital of Benin, located in the south of the country at the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. Kotunu is the seat of the government of Benin, while Benin's capital, Kotunuwa, is the seat of the parliament. The city is Benin's transportation hub, the beating heart of the nation, with the only major international airport in the country and its chief port with ongoing expansion work to upgrade it to the standards of modern 
World Port Kotoro is also home to the principal university in the country, the National University of Benin. Kotoro has a city population of about 8 lakh inhabitants. More than 2 million people live in Kotoro region. Official language is French. The main language spoken in Kotonu include the Fon, Aja and Yoruba language. Kotonu is on the coastal strip between Lake Noko and the Atlantic Ocean. The city is cut in two by a canal. The lagoon of Kotonu dug by the French in 1855. Three bridges are in this area. The Uyumi River flows into the Atlantic Ocean at Kutunu. The city has established transportation infrastructure including air, sea, river to Kotunova and land routes that facilitates trade with its neighboring Nigeria, Niger, Burkina Faso and Togo. Coastal erosion has been noted for several decades. It worsened in 1961 following construction of the Nangbeto Dam and Deep Water Port of Kotunu. A pilot project funded by the United Nations Environment Program revealed that in 40 years the cost to the east of Kotunu had retreated by 400 meters. This erosion has led many people to leave their homes along the coast. The autonomous the autonomous Port of Kotunu is one of the largest in West Africa. The city is connected to Parako in the north by the Benin Niger Railway. Kotunu International Airport provides service to the capitals of the region and to France as well as the major cities of Benin, Parako, Kandy. Nati Tingo, Dijubu, and Sabe. There are road connections to neighboring countries Nigeria, Burkina Faso, Niger, and Togo. A prevalent mode of transport in the city is the motorcycle taxi known locally as Jamie's Jal. <laughs>
6,787 kilometers of highways. There are 10 expressways. The Trans West African Coastal Highway crosses Benin, connecting it to Nigeria to the east and Togo, Ghana, and Ivory Coast to the west. When construction in Liberia and Sierra Leone is finished, the highway will continue west to seven other economic communities of West African states, ECOWAS nations. A paved highway also connects Benin northwards to Niger and through that country to Burkina Faso and Mali to the northwest. Most of the main streets in Cotonou are paved, but side streets are often dirt with deep path holes. Traffic moves on the right as in the United States. Kotunu has no public transportation system. Many Beninese people rely on bicycles, mopeds, motorbikes, and the famous James Jones moved taxis. Buses and bush taxis offer service in the interior. Gasoline smuggled from Nigeria is widely available in glass bottles and jugs at informal roadside stands throughout Kutnu and much of the country. The gasoline is of unreliable quality, often containing water or other contaminants that can damage or disable vehicles. There are periodic gas shortages which can be particularly acute in the north of the country where there are few service stations. Poorly maintained and overloaded transport and cargo vehicles frequently break down and cause accidents. Drivers obtain place branches of leaves in the road to indicate a broken down vehicle is the roadway. Undisciplined drivers move unpredictably through traffic. Construction work is often poorly indicated. Speed bumps commonly used on paved roads in and near villages are seldom indicated. Drivers must be on guard against people and livestock wandering into or across the roads. Nighttime driving is particularly hazardous as vehicles frequently lack headlights and oblique or tail lights. And brake lights are often burned out with few exceptions. Potunu and other cities lack any street lightning and lightning on roads between population centers is non-existent. There have been numerous carjackings and robberies on roads in Benin after dark, several of which resulted in murder when the driver refused to comply with the SLE lens demands. The National Police periodically conduct vehicle checks at provisional roadblocks in an effort to improve road safety and reduce the increasing number of carjackings.